was really, uh, really grateful, um, you know, to come out here and be healthy, um, get my third Canadian title in the hundred. So it's just an amazing feeling uh, to be so consistent back to back to back years. Um, so I'm just really happy about that and looking forward to the next time I step on the track again here. Uh, I couldn't tell you what exactly happened. Uh, you know, I ran the, the semis, uh, felt pretty good, shut it down, uh, ran a little bit, you know, a little bit slower. And the finals, uh, I don't know what happened. I felt like I was ready to, to run a fast time and um, I feel a little disappointed that I couldn't give the crowd what they wanted. But um, at the same time, I'm, you know, I'm happy um, that I came out here and, and won, my, won the title. The rain and conditions have any effect on that? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, felt pretty good. Um, didn't let the rain distract me. The rain stopped. The sun started coming out for the finals. So felt pretty good. I uh, didn't really think about it that much. What are you doing? Well, I got the 200 coming up uh, tomorrow, so looking forward to trying to get my first title there. Um, so definitely gonna try to go sub 20. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, now I'm just about to take care of my body and get ready for tomorrow. You said that you wanted to see where you're at here. Are you aware you want to be five um, I'm not sure. I gotta go back and talk to my coach, see see what happened in that race. Um, I feel like I'm ready. Um, you know, coming off of maybe Stockholm, I was feeling pretty good. Um, so maybe I just you know have to adjust a little bit and try to go back to training and, and see what see what see what I need to do for going forward. You had the crowd going even before you ran in the warm-up? Uh, yeah. What was that like? Uh, it, was, it was good. Uh, I needed that uh, that energy. Um, it was definitely going to try to carry me to try to run a, run a fast time. So I love when they do that. And, uh, you know, little, again, I'm a little bit disappointed that I couldn't give them what they wanted. But uh, definitely, uh, you know, next year, try to try to do that here. What's the next 48 hours going to look like for you in terms of recovery, workouts? Um, for me, just go back, um, get some treatment from my therapist. Um, get some sleep. Uh, I know it's an early day tomorrow. We're in the semis for the 200, so I just try to get a you know a good night rest. Um, you know, eat some breakfast tomorrow. Um, you know, get a good breakfast in, and then then come come to the track and get ready for the 200 semis. What's for breakfast now? I have no idea yet. Uh, um, I'll, I'll come to that tomorrow when I wake up. <laughs> what do you What do you think of the track here? Is it fast? Yeah, I think it was fast. Um, you know, I I ran pretty fa like fast in the in the semifinals. Um, you know, 10:13. And I, you know, I felt pretty good. Didn't even think I pushed it that hard. And then came out here in the finals, and I don't know if I just ran out of gas or I don't know what exactly happened. But I mean, I'll take it. I, I won my title again, uh, back to back year, so I'll take it. How many more hundreds do you have between now and uh, London? Then? Uh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the last one, so that's why I wanted to try to put down a time. Um, but I uh, got a 200 um, in Rabat after this, um, so definitely got three, three more 200s, and then uh, to try to get together um, and run a relay. Hopefully, try to treat, try to treat that as 100 meters. Are you doing any like touristy things in Ottawa while you're here? It's your, it's your first time racing here. Um. I haven't done anything yet. Um, you know, just walked around downtown. Um, you know, checked out Parliament. Um, but we'll see what happens uh, after the championship is over. I'll spend a little bit of time here and, and see uh, see what I can do. Any specific routine that you have before Any specific music that you listen to? Um, yeah, I usually listen to music, but today I forgot my headphones. So <laughs> I had no music today. So I kind of just had to. I kind of just had to depend on the crowd just to just to be my music and depend on this music over here. So. I actually, well, I have the iPhone 7, so I didn't have, no one had the adapter, <laughs> so I needed an adapter to use headphones, and I didn't, so no one had any, oh, so I left it at the hotel, so, um, <laughs> so it was a little bit annoying, that was the first time I actually done that before, um, but it's okay, as long as I don't do it for the major championship in the world. <laughs>